Can you introduce yourself briefly? What's your name? Uh, my name's John Moway. And I'm where are you from? Australia. Yeah. I'm from Australia. How long have you been in Japan? Uh, I arrived here in 1985. Wow, quite a long time. Yeah. What brought you to Japan in the first place? Uh, kendo was the first thing. I was studying kendo in Australia for a year and I went to the Japanese consulate and one of the senseis was from the Japanese consulate in Sydney. And I asked him, where is the best place in Japan to learn kendo? And he said, Kumamoto. So hence, I came, quit my job, came to Japan. That is a fascinating story. And you've been here ever since. Yes. All right. Periodically great. going back to Australia, but most of the time. Great. Uh, so gosh, that's over 30 years, way over 30 years. Yes. Um, what are some things you like about Japan? Uh, the food's good, the people are nice, uh, except for the boards of Zoku and the Yakuza, of course, you know, you always have those problems. But, um, no, it's, it's a beautiful country, beautiful scenery, and very comfortable to live in Japan, particularly Kumamoto. I wouldn't live in Tokyo, I hate the big cities, I'm from Sydney, and I didn't like Sydney too much as a, a big city, but uh, Kumamoto is perfect. I agree. Uh, are there anything you, uh, any things you don't like about Japan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Can, would, you, would you be able to expand on those a little bit? <laughs> the driving sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, not not terribly, no. Um, some of the food I don't like, mm -hmm. like, uh, I don't know, namako. Oh yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, I don't know. Natto is definitely out of the question. Natto is out of the question for me too. Uh, Basashi is good though. But oh yeah. Basashi. The only problem is if you eat too much, you get diarrhea. Yes, that's true. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Basashi is raw horse meat, by the way, for, yes, for people yes, who don't yes. know. Yeah. How about other raw foods like sushi, sashimi, oh, I love things like all, that? All kinds of fish, raw. Okay, uh, great. Particularly uh, maguro, which is tuna, and uh, brim, Thai in Japanese. <laughs> that's nice. Wonderful. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about the Japanese pension system today. Sure. Uh, can you tell us ab about that? Uh, I'll let you explain it to everyone and I'll let you talk about it for a little bit. I may ask some questions sure. a little bit later if possible. Well, when I first arrived, uh, I worked with the YMCA. Most foreigners that came to Kumoto at the time were English teachers and they were working at YM the YMCA some other schools and I thought well if I'm going to stay long term I need to really think about the pension uh, the Japanese pension so I joined the system and I've been paying into it ever since but there are different pensions I mean I've always been self-employed where um, other foreigners may work for a Japanese company and that is covered by the pension with their wages, etc. And so once they retire, they're getting a dual pension from the government and from the company. Where in my situation, I'm, I paid just into the Japanese government pension scheme. Hence, I only get it from the government. I'm not covered by companies being self-employed. I see, so how, when you say you paid into the system, how did you go about doing that? And uh, I went to the pension system and uh, to the office and told them that I want to join the Japanese pension system. I had to of course show them that I was uh, a permanent resident, of course, and once I showed them that, uh, they said okay, no problem, filled out a ton of forms, etc. And then paid into the scheme every month. Every month, okay. And was that throughout your whole time in Japan or your whole career, uh, whole adult career? or The first 
three or four years I wasn't a member because mm -hmm. I wasn't a permanent resident. Mm -hmm. I okay. actually had a spouse visa. Oh, okay. But I don't think that was sufficient. But once I got the permanent resident visa, then I could join the pension scheme. I see. And did that, so that continued, I guess, throughout uh, until your retirement? I, yes. I assume. I see. Uh, and so after you retired, and by the way, when did you retire? Uh, at my high school, mm -hmm. uh, was, for foreigners anyway, it was 60. I see. So I retired at 60. So you had to retire at 60. But I, I had to wait five years before oh. I could get the pension. Well, I think this is something a lot of foreigners don't know, right? That pension starts at 65. So Yes. So right, if you're... If you have to retire before 65, you're going to have to wait a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, well, that's true. Fortunately for me, uh, I was doing weddings as a, a wedding priest type thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that gave me an income coming in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so that was sort of covering some of the things mm -hmm. over those five years. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Okay, great. So you had some income coming in and then when you hit 65, uh, you were able to take your pension out. Now, how do they pay pension here in Japan? I, I'm not really aware of that. Uh, I, well, my wife organized all that side of it, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. but I assume that she gets all the money. Right, so she's, she's <laughs> Japanese, so she knows the you know, so, workings so, so. of this, okay. But I assume they pay directly <laughs> to my account, I see. bank account, and she automatically draws it out and I spends see. it. And spends it and, and she gives you a, a monthly allowance, or how does that work? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Okay. So you she just kind of... Sit. <laughs> so, so you got to kind of just steal money when you need it? Um, <laughs> no, I can ask that my wife if I need money. Yeah. But, uh, Generally, I get 10 yen a day. Oh, okay. Yeah. That works. Okay. That works. It pays for my beer. Of course, sure. <laughs> which is important. Yeah. yeah. And me. your cigarettes, too, I guess. Yes, occasionally. Okay, occasionally. Occasionally. Good, 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 good. Okay. Uh, what are other things do foreigners, and we're kind of aiming at kind of growing old in Japan. Uh, because I know a lot of foreigners living in Kumoto, like yourself, who are really getting up there in age, myself included, uh, and we don't know all the ins and outs of, of getting older in Japan. What are some other things that we need to be aware of? Well, I think one of the things that surprised me, my neighborhood, or Kinjo, the neighborhood, uh, you do uh, volunteer work. And one is being a Mr. Green Man. Really? Now, yeah. what is that? Uh, Mr. Green Man is a Mifliyoji-san, right? Okay. And we have a uniform Or can you ex professor. explain Oji-san in, in English? Uh, old man. <laughs> old man, right. Okay. Yeah. Old, old man. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm the youngest. Oh, All wow. All the other guys are in their 80s, I think. Wowza. Okay. <laughs> but what we do, we... Uh, uh, there are certain roads in Japan which only children can use to go to school back and forth. Mm -hmm. So we have a green vest, a bright green vest, a green hat, and a flag, a wow. yellow flag. And what we do is we control the traffic to and fro and stop the children, let the cars go through, and so on. That's what I'm just agreeing with. It's volunteer work, you know, you do it three or four times a month. Um, and you get paid. Mm -hmm. Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, one year you get looks and in. Okay, 6, so. 6,000 yen. 6,000 yen, All right? One about, year. About 50 something US dollars or so, right? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. There you go. Great. 60 bucks. And it's good for the community. Uh, well, I talk to the old people that mm -hmm. I have to work with, and mm -hmm. uh, they live in the government denchi, denchi which is uh, uh, government right. uh, housing. Government housing, okay, uh, right. Mm -hmm. So they're not very wealthy people. Mm -hmm. I've got my own house, of course, and mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I'm a little better off. Uh, but they tend to uh, be nice, very nice mm -hmm. people, easy to work with. I mean, we don't communicate much, just uh, 
Kulama Nidai, or there's two cars coming, oh, okay. motorbike or whatnot. Yep. That's pretty much our communication, so to speak. Yeah. And um, you know. So, you know, growing up older here in Japan, you tend, because of the corona situation now, I don't go out. I haven't gone out in two years right. to a bar or anything like that. I stay home or I work here with Hiroshi in the bike shop. Um, that keeps me going. I can't watch Japanese TV. It drives me nuts because you've got game shows, food shows, more game shows and more food shows. Unless you watch NHK, which some are quite interesting, some of the programs are the most bloody boring. So I agree. So that's why I keep myself busy. Busy. I've got all these uh, hobbies that I have, and uh, I work here. And Hiroshi teaches me how to restore old Triumph motorbikes. So it keeps me busy. Yeah. I've got to be busy. Well, that's great, and you do some wonderful restoration work too, uh, which will be on another video actually. Uh, you, you've got some great items. Uh, today we looked at your uh, violin and violin case restoration, which will be on another video. Uh, and we're going to look at your motorcycle restoration here coming up. So um, I, I can definitely understand the aspect of keeping busy uh, and uh, being involved in the community and paying into the pension. What about health related things? Have you had any health problems or are you worried uh, about health? The only problem I have are my eyes. Mm -hmm. um, I have uh, injections twice a month mm -hmm. in both eyes, left and right. Um, and that's just old age generally. You know, people in their 60s start to lose their vision. Uh, in my case, uh, it's nothing severe. You don't go blind if you don't get repaired. The problem is you can halt it, but you can't cure it. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is you're just stopping it from getting worse. Uh, but uh, that's good. Oh, of course. That's on next week. I've got one. Oh, really? Well, good luck on that. Thanks. Thank you very much for talking to us today, John. We you really appreciate that. Yeah. And we'll be back at you with some more uh, videos, everyone, coming up here from Mr. John Moeen. Thank you, Jeffrey.